kindness of her heart, by the love that Allah has put in her heart, she does these things without asking. She prepares our meals. She cleans our clothes. She keeps the home clean. And when we come home and we find her all out of shape, you know, and uh, out of sorts, not looking appealing to us as she did when we first married her, we t tend to want to just kind of turn away and blow her off. No, dear brothers, that kindness that is owed to them is not conditional. It is something that is due to them. But some of us as men, we have a tendency to take our brothers and our friends to be closer than the wife. Where we share with them, but we don't want to share with the wife. So we wonder why the family begins to grow apart. We need to return to the example of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who was the best father. He was the best husband. Alhamdulillah. He was the best companion. He took time to play with his wives. Alhamdulillah, we remember the time when he would race with his wife Aisha radiallahu anha. He would race with her. And when she was younger, she would beat him in the race. But as she got older and gained a little weight, alhamdulillah, he would beat her in the race and said this was for that. Allahu Akbar. There was a time, alhamdulillah, when Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, prepared a meal and Sauda was there with her. And the Prophet ﷺ was sitting between them and Sauda refused to eat from what Aisha prepared. Even though we know Aisha anha, was the Prophet's most beloved wife, sallallahu alayhi wasallam. But to show you how fair and how just he was, Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, told Sauda, if you don't eat, I'm going to make you eat. I'm going to mush it in your face. And she did. She actually took the food and put it in Sauda's face. Now, the Prophet didn't scold her. He didn't, you know, upbraid her. What are you doing that for? No, he just told Sauda, you do the same. And he got out of the way. Do the same to her. In fact, some narrations say that he put the food in Sauda's hand and helped her to push it back into Aisha's face. May Allah be pleased with all of them. We look all across the globe and we see all kinds of problems plaguing the Muslim Ummah. We often ask ourselves, what can I do to help this situation?